I have coached sports, played for about 10 years, and I coached off and on for 48 years. Loved it, loved every minute of it. I was a pretty good coach. I won more than my share. Won with uh, a lot of times with less athletes. It ain't always the best that wins. It's the best prepared most of the time. But I really enjoyed coaching. But I was going to talk about what I consider my greatest coaching moment. There was this kid, he was a little slow. And his dad was trying to give him the full experience. And he signed him up on my team. And hey, he was a good kid. His dad was a good guy. And he was just, he could run from one block to the other. I showed him where to stand on offense, showed him where to stand on defense. <clears throat> and when he played his quarter, he got to play a quarter, come to practice, practice just like all the other kids. And when we were ahead, I would play him. But he would run from one the one spot on offense to the other spot on defense. Sometimes he'd forget where he was at and wouldn't go to the right spot. We would play with four guys on defense and four guys on offense. But we were good enough that year, it really didn't make any difference. And, uh, we were undefeated and another team was undefeated. And we were set to play them. And the dad come to me after practice before the final, before that game and told me, he said, I've made a deal with him. I know y'all, we playing for the city championship and I know, I know y'all want to win. And I've made a deal with him that I'll take him to Chuck E. Cheese. He loves Chuck E. Cheese and we'll miss the ball game, and y'all have a better chance of winning. Well, it sort of hurt my feelings and insulted me that I wasn't a good enough coach, or we wasn't a good enough team with him. And I, But I didn't let him know it insulted me. I told him, no, 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 we're not doing that. He's part of the team, win, lose, or draw, he plays with us. You bring him the ball game, we win, that's great. If we don't, that's great. He is part of the team. And I considered that my finest coaching moment. Right there. Talking to that dad. No, he's part of the team. We're going to play. Did you win? Yeah, we won. Okay. We good enough we won. But but that ain't where we won. The, winning the game wasn't the, wasn't the deal. During the game I put him in, and he forgot to go to offense one time, and he was standing down there by himself. And the guy stole the ball and started for a breakaway layup. And the first time this kid ever made a basketball move the whole season, he throwed his hands up and slid over in front of the guy to make him block, you know, like he's going to block his shot or alter him, like you're supposed to. First time he'd have made a basketball he made a basketball move at all. And the kid went around him and scored the layup basket. Well, my whole bench went crazy. My team went crazy. They run down there. They're high-fiving him, pick him up. They just going crazy. And the referee says, what's going on? Come on to me. What's going on? I said, he's been on the team this whole year. And that's his first basketball move. That's the greatest part of the game. This is why you play the game. It's not winning and losing now. You get on up math, you know, old up in college and everything. It's all about winning and losing. That's a different game. It ain't a peewee game. It ain't a high school game. But the greatest moment of my basketball career was when that kid put his hands up in the game that decided, decided the city championship. First basketball move he'd made all year long in any game. My kids just celebrated you thought we'd won the game at that moment. And we come on and won the game. And, uh, but he got the moment of experiencing a championship game and making a basketball move. That was probably my greatest moment in coaching. I, when I look back, I've won a bunch. I've, 
<clears throat> I was directly responsible. I got a coach at the high school level for a while. And I was directly responsible for one loss. That one loss haunts me more than all the wins I ever had. Uh, when I think about football, I think about, well, if I just done this a little bit different, we wouldn't have lost that game. Hey, but, uh, my greatest my, my greatest coaching moment was coaching a kid that just struggled. But he, he, he turned it on at the right time. Greatest basketball. That's the joy of coaching kids basketball and stuff. Football, basketball, and everything. Great, great, great moment in my life. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.